Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly sculpts. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. So, <clears throat> there's a lot of movement for you this week. As the main opportunity, you have the Three of Wands. And it's a week to really focus on your creativity, on uh, your expectations for the future, on your plans, because there's an opportunity of growth. There's an opportunity of things moving forward into the direction of passion, of desire, of creative force that you are expecting to. There's support, uh, especially concerning creativity and energy drive and <clears throat> plans. There's also a lot of movement. So if you're planning to travel, if you're planning to move, if you're wanting to manifest that journey, there's a lot of beautiful possibilities for you uh, to be able to do so and get to the, de to the destination um, that you're hoping. There's a lot opening up for you, a lot of uh, ways, roads, a lot of, a lot of uh, really opportunities of finding your path. Finding your, <clears throat> your your finding your your place finding your place to be because uh, I feel like in probably you have been <clears throat> you've you you've been a little bit insatisfied with the place or the environment you were or you are until now and you really want things to move you you really want things to have this rush, this adrenaline happening in your life. And as the main opportunity, the Three of Wands um, advises, advises you to plan, uh, to plan, to organize your visions and to uh, really focus on your drive and what drives you because there's a lot of support and there's a lot of opportunity to bring those um, th those cravings, your, those soul cravings into manifestation. The main challenge is the page of wands. So <clears throat> another movement card, communication, words being exchanged. Uh, a lot of um, <clears throat> a lot of attitude in those words, in the in that communication, in that exchange of. Um, exchange of ideas and expressions. So the challenge maybe is for you to express uh, what you're hoping for, express uh, what you're wanting, or dealing with people or environment or news coming your way that may for some reason upset you or disrupt your idea of uh, this journey, this new beautiful journey you're trying to take on. Whatever it is, uh, the challenge is for you to face it with a lot of um, a lot of logic, and not be led, not let yourself be led by angry feelings, by resentment, and just um, exploding, uh, exploding in uh, words, in harsh words with other people or even towards yourself. There's an angry feeling that can surface with this. Uh, communication with this news, with this um, difficulty in uh, saying and communicating clearly what you want. And the challenge is for you to overcome that without uh, falling, falling into repressed anger feelings or letting that anger be the, be the motivation to drive you into that new travel and journey you're trying to, to, to take on. Because the advice is the Knight of Cups and another movement card. And <clears throat> the Knight of Cups advice is to keep really your communication and your expression really kind, really affectionate, and really soft. So the, the advice is for, you, uh, is for you, no matter what happens, that may push your, your patience a little bit, um, to, keep your, to keep your positive feelings flowing freely, believing in the opportunities that are coming your way, which could be really big ones, and being 
being really uh, expressing expressing um, yourself with a lot of tenderness and a lot of um, a lot of affection, a lot of love. You have love to give uh, this week, and the advice is for you to take use of that and share it. So <clears throat> don't let yourself, no matter what kind of exchanges uh, that may irritate you this week, uh, no matter what happens, really offer your cup of love, offer your cup of compassion, offer your cup of understanding, and try to cope with it and try to deal with it in a much more loving way, because that will help you to get um, to get to the to the destination that you're hoping for, and to achieve uh, a lot of a lot of promising um, fruits from your desires and from your dreams and from your plans and there's a lot of vision there's a big vision opening up for your life and you're wanting to follow it and that's beautiful just be aware of doing so in a um, forceful way or uh, not measuring the way you say things and uh, the way you do things to get there really try to focus on love the spiritual advice is sobriety. So again, keep yourself sober. And when we say sober is keep yourself in balance. Adjust yourself to the situation that surrounds you and the energy that surrounds you. If you have been repressing your words, express it, talk it. So and talk it with love and talk it with uh, really in a real mature way without having to uh, use um, aggressive language for you to express your opinions and for you to express your needs and your wants. If you have been talking too much, keep yourself, keep your ideas more to, towards yourself and keep being much more in tune with yourself than with others so you can really focus um, because everything depends on you and focus on yourself to get um, to get to the destination you're hoping for. So it's, it really depends on how you, you have been directing your energy, but the, the spiritual advice is sobriety. So whatever the way, try to keep yourself in balance and keep yourself really um, mo moderate, really uh, focused on being um on being focused on being sober about yourself your ideas and your your achievements because that will help you this week mo most than follow follow following into excess i think that's also the big message don't let yourself um be guided by excess exactly the opposite by sobriety so <clears throat> I wish you a great week. Thank you for listening, liking, subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And we'll see each other next week.